explained why weather sometimes can trigger these nuisance headaches. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Okay, so here's the deal. Today is a perfect example of, of a day when we're going to see some wild pressure changes because of that very strong cold front that you just talked about that's going to be arriving here a little later on. All right. And for people that are dealing with that, though, they dread hearing that news because they know what it can mean to them. We all know people or are people that feel different due to the weather. For example, our trick knee starts acting up or our arthritis flares up. But there is mounting evidence that big swings in barometric pressure can act as a trigger for those that suffer from debilitating migraines. We have like eye pressure, swelling, uh, congestion in my face. Ani is describing how her migraines start. It's usually with the change in weather when it's like, like you described. It'll go from hot to cold or cold to hot. And here in South Texas, that normally happens with the arrival of strong cold fronts, like the one we're going to see this evening. One of the big now, Dr. Deborah Carver, a neurologist for UT Health Science Center who works at University Hospital, says she hears this a lot from her patients. People often relate that the weather, specifically barometric pressures, can increase their headaches. Um, we see that a lot when a front comes through. They'll say that their headaches are going to get worse. Dr. Carver says that studies show that between 30 to 70 percent of people relate their migraines to weather changes. But she thinks that the weather pressure changes alone do not necessarily cause the migraines, but are more likely to be one of several triggers. Keeping yourself hydrated, decreasing your stress, making sure you're getting a lot of sleep, eating regular eating patterns. Now, so Dr. Carver also said this. She said in this case, she does not believe that taking migraine medications beforehand, even though you know that there's going to be a big weather change, would help because migraine medications themselves uh, only live a short time in your system. And she also said that she believes that normally it's not just one trigger that kicks off the migraines, but it's normally several combined that actually fire those off. Mike Hernandez, back to you.